Welcome to our Child Care and Parenting series. Today, we're discussing a common concern in child care settings, biting. We'll explore why some children may resort to biting and more importantly, we'll provide you with the best practices for preventing and managing this behavior. Let's dive in. Biting can be alarming, but it's important to understand why it occurs. Children may bite out of frustration, teething discomfort, communication difficulties, or the need for attention. Identifying the root cause is the first step in addressing the issue. Prevention is key. Ensure the environment is safe and age-appropriate for the children. Remove potential triggers, such as overcrowded play areas or limited access to toys. A well-structured space minimizes opportunities for conflict. It is important to provide items for the child to bite, such as teething rings, teething necklace, or other teething materials. If none of these are available, a cold, wet, clean wash rag. By having these materials, you are helping the children learn what and when it is appropriate to bite. Proactive supervision is crucial. Keep a watchful eye on interactions. Notice signs of frustration or tension and intervene early to prevent conflicts from escalating to biting incidents. When a child does bite, it's essential to remain calm. Redirect their behavior by offering alternatives. Praise and reward good behavior to reinforce positive actions. This can be a powerful tool in shaping their conduct. Maintain open communication with parents and caregivers. Share information about incidents, strategies, and progress. A collaborative approach ensures everyone is on the same page. Consistency is key in managing biting incidents. Ensure that all caregivers respond to such behavior in a uniform manner. This consistency helps children understand the consequences of their actions. In some cases, biting may persist despite your best efforts. If a child's biting behavior becomes severe or a chronic issue, it may be time to seek advice from a pediatrician or child psychologist. Professional guidance can provide valuable insights. Biting can be challenging, but with understanding, prevention, and consistent management, it's possible to address this issue effectively. Remember, patience and a supportive environment are essential in guiding children toward better ways to express themselves. Thanks for tuning in today, and be sure to subscribe for more child care and parenting tips. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and share this video with other parents and caregivers. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll explore more topics related to early childhood development. Until then, keep providing a nurturing and safe environment for our little ones.